Hey guys, so in today's quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can add glow to your own selfies or portraits and how you can like highlight the highest points of your face using the Procreate app. Now, I'm not saying that you should highlight your face or you should look glowing in, in your pictures or anything like that. I'm just uh, teaching you how you can play around with your own selfies and portraits using the Procreate app. Now, I have this picture of this model. I don't know her name. So if you know her name, please comment it down in the comment section below. So without any further ado, let's just get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. And so as you know, if uh, the layer mode is normal you cannot really paint over your selfie or the picture so I'm just gonna change this layer mode to luminosity and then I'm just gonna choose a brush which is soft airbrush and what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna pick a color from her skin uh, which is at the highest points of her face to determine the lightest color of her skin so what I'm now gonna do is I'm just gonna choose a lighter version of the color and now you can actually see what color it is but now obviously this is way too much so I'm just gonna decrease the opacity decrease the size of the brush a little bit and I'm just going to place this color on the highest points of her face. Where the face is catching the light. Also doing the same, also gonna do the same thing for her neck as well. But for now I'm just gonna add this color. This is too much. Don't worry about it being perfect right now. Just place it wherever you want it. Now I'm just gonna place it on her collarbone as well, which is not visible, but yeah. To match everything. You can add some highlight here as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this blending tool. And it's going to blend everything out. And again, if you don't know how to blend in Procreate, I do have a tutorial on how to blend like a pro in procreate and I will link that down below in the description box so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over the color that I placed and just gonna blend it obviously it's not that visible but you can turn this layer off you can already see the difference now I'm just gonna create a new layer because we are we are gonna be building the color slowly now I'm just gonna set it to soft light layer mode so like choosing the same color and the same brush now the same brush actually but this luminous one which is light pen making sure it is working nicely now yeah this is my favorite part now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna place it over the colors that we just place very lightly you can decrease the opacity if you want
I'm not completely blending it out. I'm just kind of leaving the middle part of the color that we just put on her face so that it can look like it is glowing like uh, I don't know how to explain it but yeah just to add that little highlight on there and just gonna do the same here as well just blending the edges and not the whole color And when you are blending smaller lines, thinner lines, I would suggest to use small sized brush. Now let's just turn this off. It already made a huge difference. Now I'm just going to add a little more around the eyes, so I'm just going to create a new layer and just going to set it to soft light again. Yes. Making sure brush is working nicely. And turn the opacity up to max, and because we will be needing this small little brush. So I'm just going to put some highlight around the eyes, just slightly. I hope you're able to see what I'm, where I'm putting the highlights. You can also add some highlights if you want to in the eyes as well, but I think that is not needed. Just gonna add a little bit down the bridge of her nose. Now I'm adding highlights to the hair following the similar process I did with the face and I'm using light pen brush from Luminous Brush Set. And yeah, that's basically it. That is very easy and I know there's not a huge difference in the picture just because I kept it pretty minimal but you can go crazy with it. You can do crazy stuff with your pictures using these simple techniques. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys the next time.